Hey, we are uh, in honor of the Belmont Stakes coming up. California Chrome going for the triple count crown. Uh, Cafe Bernardo specifically is a Berkeley bar. Cafe Bernardo has kind of developed their own version of the Belmont Breeze, the official drink of the Stakes. And Eli Bob is the bartender over at Berkeley Bar. He's joining us now to tell us how to make it. I love that all these these horse races have their own signature cocktail. It is really cool. You know, the uh, the Derby and the Mint Julep are just inseparable from each other. But not many people realize that the Belmont has its own cocktail too. So what is it? It's called the Belmont Breeze, and it is absolutely delicious. I'm okay. going to show you how to make it home, but why would you want to when we're here to do it? If absolutely. Eli is there, there so, yeah. It starts out with good quality American whiskey. Jack mm -hmm. Daniels, my favorite. We're going to put in an ounce and a half. Mm -hmm. any, and, any whiskey would do, huh? I mean, any would do, but why wouldn't you? Why use would Jack? you not use that? That's right. Three quarters of an ounce of sherry, and this is kind of a textural thing. The sherry is just going to give it a really nice pop. Okay. A couple Does of it juices. Kind of smooth it out a little. Yeah, it gives yeah. a nice little smoothness, kind of a creaminess to it. I have a couple of juices. I'm going to do an ounce of lemon juice. Do you okay. like the fresh lemon juice? Yeah, you got to go fresh. You got a go plastic fresh. lemon. Not no, that's green yeah, top. That, yeah, that Ew, thing. It's fun. just. I'm kidding. That thing has nothing to do with a lemon. It I was know, never a lemon. I know. I know. Don't I'm make just... the bartender angry. <laughs> uh, you don't want an angry bartender. A little no. bit of cranberry juice also. I've been standing here for an hour. And some orange juice. <laughs> little OJ. Very good. Very good. Healthy. And then at this point, oh, we're going to throw a ice surprise. Jacqueline's here. Okay. A little bit of ice to cool it down. Okay. Throw some ice in the serving glass. Right in here. Very nice. Give it a couple of shakes. Can I give you a funny little tidbit? We had a bartender Absolutely. on here for years. Remember this? About five years ago. It was Fourth of July. Our he put the soda bartender. in before he shook it uh, and loaded, uh, loaded oh. all over the entire. <laughs> remember that? It was fantastic. You, that. you didn't do that, and I was watching. You're thing. welcome. There you go. So we're gonna strain it into some nice fresh ice to serve. What does the straining do when you do that? Well, it keeps this ice out because this ice has been kind of diluted mm -hmm. down. It's just mm -hmm. not the quality of ice that I want to mm -hmm. serve to somebody anymore. No so pulse. That's interesting. So it kind of changes the ice as exactly. you do the shaking. Exactly. Exactly. And then I'm throwing a little bit of soda. After. Very nice. A little bit of Seven Up. Sweeten it. Yeah. After the shake. Yeah. And then we're going to garnish it with a really nice strawberry, a sprig of mint. Oh my goodness! You, make it look so pretty. you don't want to. What and is it? eleven. Muddle the mint. Lemon. Could you muddle the mint if you wanted to? You could. You know, Mojito the mint on here is a little bit more decorative. Right, right, right. This way you get kind of that it fragrance is right in the face. Very nice. I'm gonna taste. Yeah, absolutely. Please. You don't, do. Why don't you make I'm another one here real quick? You got I guarantee it. you, this <laughs> is <isn't> enough. <laughs> that is a bad party foul. Haven't even started yet. Mm. What do you think? I am ruining my iPad. Um, no, it's delicious. It's very, very good. I'm not a huge whiskey drinker, and it's not overwhelming either. It's kind of a little more fruity. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to have a whiskey drink at 8:45 in the morning, which is just dandy because it's lunch time for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so has it been fun having people coming in and watching the? It's a the blast. Race? You know, we had a really, really successful promo for the Kentucky Derby. It was awesome. We cool. hope to do the same this weekend. Come see us at the Berkeley Bar. It's going to be great. See you tomorrow. It's, a, it's a nice spot if you haven't been there. Named after David Berkeley. Dr. David Berkeley. Was of course, there for many, many years. Institution in this town. Yes. All right. Hey. Still ahead, we will have just a little bit more news. It's all coming up right after this. That's mm. your second taste. Oh, it's not my last either. <laughs>